Hi, my name is Dr. Mike Schuster, and I'm the founder of the Schuster Center, which is a business school for dentists. I founded the center in 1978 because dental school prepares us dentists to practice dentistry, but it doesn't prepare us to run a business that does that work. So when I was teaching at the Pankey Institute in the 70s and 80s, I began to understand that the dentists were trying to do quality dentistry, but they really weren't able to get it off the shelf. They were, really weren't able to build a practice that they really wanted to build. So I created a model, and the model really suggests this, that first, <clears throat> You, you have to get control of money. Money is survival. Money is to your business what oxygen is to life. But oxygen is the purpose of life any more than money is the purpose of life. But you have to get control of it so you can get beyond it. Once you really understand it and really get control of money, you can get beyond it. Then you can begin to work on time and organization in your practice, which gives you predictability, it gives you safety, it gives you the security that you need and your patients need when you deliver dentistry. So these three are really the foundation of your practice, money, time, and organization. If you don't get control of time and money and organization, you're not going to move up. You're not going to personally develop and your practice isn't going to develop. So I often talk about living above the line and below the line. Above the line is the issue of, of communication, it's the issue of sales, it's the issue of marketing. That is a key issue because that's a driving force. So to establish the needs of the business and the human needs, this is a critical driving force for your business. The next level is the area of your own self-esteem and self-image. Self-esteem and self-image is increased when you gain more competency in your technical capability in your organization and in working with people. And the last level, the last level is the area of purpose, okay? The why you do what you do. The reason your practice exists. So if you want to create a practice that really works, you first have to design it. You have to design it to fulfill the needs of your patients. You have to design it to fulfill your own needs. So when we created this model, we really created a core curriculum with four literally different training tracks. But we never ever simply train, we don't coach. Because every one of the practices, like yours or mine, has to be individualized to me and to the work we do. So if you're interested in learning more about this, feel free to go on the website, look at more videos, look at more uh, of the webinars that are on the website, or also feel free to contact us. We'll be happy to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and talk about your future.